Nitin Jiram Gudkari pronunciation, born the 27th of May 1957, is an Indian politician and the current Minister for Road Transport and Highways, Shipping and Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation in the Government of India. Gudkari earlier served as the president of the Bharatiya Janata Party from 2010 to 2013. He is also known for the works during his tenure as a public works department minister in the state of Maharashtra when he constructed a series of roads, highways and flyovers across the state including the Mumbai Pune Expressway, India's first six-lane concrete, high-speed, access-controlled tolled expressway. <laughs> <laughs> Background and education Nitin Gudkari was born in Nagpur, India to Jiram Gudkari and Banutai Gudkari. During his teens, he worked for the Bharatiya Janata Yuva Morcha and the student union Akhil Bharatiya Vidyarthi Parishad. He completed MCOM, and LLB from University of Nagpur. Political career Nitin Gudkari served as the Minister of Public Works Department PWD of the Government of Maharashtra from 1995 to 1999 and restructured it from top to bottom. He has served as the President of the Maharashtra BJP. Gudkari strongly supported privatization while he campaigned for investments in infrastructure from private firms. He addressed several meetings between private investors, contractors, builders and various trade organizations and diverted large amounts of budgeted projects towards privatization. Subsequently, the state government allocated 7 billion rupees for rural connectivity. Over the next four years, all-weather road connectivity in Maharashtra was extended to 98% of the population. The project aimed to connect 13,736 remote villages which remained unconnected since independence by road. It also helped ameliorate malnutrition in remote Melgat Darni area of Amravati district, which previously had no access to medical aid, ration or educational facilities. The union government appointed him as the chairman of National Rural Road Development Committee. After a series of meetings and studies, Gudkari submitted his report to the central government and gave the presentation to the Honourable Prime Minister of India. His new report was accepted and a new rural road connecting scheme now popularly known as Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana was launched. The ambitious scheme is of 600 billion rupees. Just before the 2014 Maharashtra Assembly elections, Election Commission of India on 6 October 2014 issued a show cause notice to Union Minister Nitin Gudkari for statements to the effect of inducing the voters to take bribe during campaigning in Maharashtra Assembly polls. According to the English translation of the speech made by the former BJP president in Marathi, he had allegedly said, now, I am watching your faces and I have some skill of predicting the future by way of face reading. You have an opportunity of Laxmi Darshan in next ten days. Special people to get foreign made, ordinary people to get local brand. All are Gandivadas asking for ours. 5,000. In these days of inflation, keep one thing in mind, eat what you wish and drink what you desire. Keep whatever you get. This is the time when illegally earned money can go to poor. Therefore, do not say no to Laxmi. But think while you vote. Your vote should be for the development of Maharashtra." The Election Commission said his statement amounts to "...abetting and promoting the electoral offence of bribery." Within the meaning of Section 171b read with Section 17le of the IPC as it includes offering food, drink or entertainment. Positions served Ex-Minister, GOVT of Maharashtra Chairman, Parti Group of Companies President, Bharatiya Janata Party, Maharashtra State Ex-Leader of Opposition, Maharashtra Legislative Council Former Minister for Public Works Department, Maharashtra State Member of Legislative Council, Maharashtra State Elected to the Maharashtra GOVT. Legislative Council in 1989 from Graduates Constituency, Nagpur Region. Re-elected in the year 1990. Re-elected in the year 1996 and elected unopposed in 2002. 
inducted in the Maharashtra State Government Cabinet as the Minister for Public Works on 27 May 1995. Ex-member of the High Power Committee for Privatization, Government of Maharashtra. Ex-Chairman, Maharashtra State Road Development Corporation, India. Ex-Guardian Minister for Nagpur District, GOVT, of Maharashtra. Ex-Chairman, Mining Policy Implementation Committee, GOVT, of Maharashtra. Ex-Chairman, Metropolis Beautification Committee, GOVT, of Maharashtra. Ex-Leader of Opposition, Maharashtra Legislative Council, Chairman National Rural Road Development Committee Chairman, Review Committee of CPWD, GOVT, of India. State President of Bhartiya Janata Party, Maharashtra. National President of BJP, India. As PWD Minister, Maharashtra, 1996–99 As PWD Minister of Maharashtra, Gudkari played a crucial role in expediting the construction of the Mumbai-Pune Expressway and having it built in a little over two years. The idea to build a road which takes travel between Mumbai and Pune to less than three hours was first conceived by Shiv Sena founder Balasaheb Thackeray. In 1990, the government of Maharashtra appointed the Wrights Limited and Scott Wilson Kirkpatrick companies to carry out feasibility studies for the new expressway to be operated on a toll basis. Wrights submitted their report in 1994 with the estimated cost of project at 1146 crore rupees, 170 million dollars. However, it was only after Gudkari took over as PWD minister that the construction of this project was fast tracked. Gudkari entrusted the work of the construction of Mumbai Pune Expressway to MSRDC in March 1997 on build operate transfer basis with permission to collect toll for 30 years. The environmental clearance from the Ministry of Environment and Forests, Government of India was received on 13 October 1997. The forest clearance was received on of November 1997. The tender notice was published in leading newspapers all over India and also on the internet. Due to the wide publicity, 133 tenders were sold and on 18 December 1997, 55 tenders were received. After technical and financial evaluation, tenders were accepted and work orders were given on 1 January 1998 to four contractors. Thereafter tenders for widening of the Kandala and Lanavala Kandala bypass works were invited. The tenders were received on 24 August 1998 and orders were issued on 4 September 1998. The first sections of the expressway opened in 2000, and the entire route was completed, opened to traffic and made fully operational from April 2002. The other major achievement of Gudkari as state minister was the construction of 55 flyovers in Mumbai, which eased the city traffic problems significantly. Topic. As President of BJP, 2009–2013 Gudkari was appointed President of the BJP in December 2009. This was considering a tough phase for the BJP as the party had lost two successive Lok Sabha elections and needed a quick revamp. As party president, right from the start, Gudkari made his agenda very clear. He focused almost entirely on the politics of development. In his book, India Aspires, co-authored with leading Indian author Tuhan Sinha, Gudkari spells out his development ideas for the country in great detail. Increased institutional support to green energy, alternate fuel and effective waste management hold special importance in Gudkari's development plan. At a time when the country was plagued with the problem of policy paralysis under the UPA, Gudkari's proactive approach towards development, set a new and positive agenda for the country's politics. As party president, Gudkari, re-emphasized on legendary Jan Sang leader Dean Dayal Upadhyay's principles of integrated humanism and antideya. At the same time, various cells were constituted within the party to regularly monitor the develop work undertaken by various BJP state governments and to come up with new policy inputs. Gudkari resigned as party president in January 2013. 2014 Lok Sabha election 
Gudkari contested 2014 Lok Sabha election successfully from Nagpur constituency and won. He defeated Congress leader Vilas Mudamwar by margin of 285,000. Central Minister Gudkari became the Minister of Road Transport and Highways in May 2014. Out of the stalled projects he inherited, projects worth 1 trillion rupees $14 billion were terminated and others worth 350 billion rupees $4.9 billion were put up for rebidding. He increased the pace of road creation in the country from 2 km per day to 16.5 km per day in his first year and to 21 km per day in the second year. He reserved an amount of 1% of the total projects awarded in his tenure worth 2 trillion rupees $28 billion for trees and beautification. <inaudible> <inaudible> Industrial career Nitin Gudkari does not consider himself a career politician. He is known to control these establishments in the following way. Polysac Industrial Society Limited, Founder and Chairman. Nikhil Furniture and Appliances Private. Limited, Promoter and Director. Antiodaya Trust, Founder and Member. Empress Employees Cooperative Paper Mills Limited, Founder and Chairman. Perti Power and Sugar Limited, Perti Soccer Karkana Limited, Promoter Gudkari is also an agriculturist. He has not only promoted but also has major interests in the fields of water management, solar energy projects and the use of modern tools in agriculture. Recently, he started exporting fruits to various countries under the banner Ketaki Overseas Trading Company. In total 17 sugar plants were started in Vidarbha regions, and a sugar plant is considered to be the best industry in terms of local economic development that is the reason why the district with highest per capita income is Sola Pure with the 17 sugar industries. However Vidarbha now has just three plants functioning, and all of those three plants are of Perti group. A sugar factory is not a profitable industry, but it is a major step to boost the local economy where the cash directly rises in the hand of the farmer. Sugar cane produces bagasse and molasses, where bagasse is used for power production and molasses is used for ethanol alcohol production, while the other waste products produce biofertilizers. Perti group has brought enormous development in the catchment area. The whole thing started with a genius idea of social entrepreneurship. Cooperative General Stores Perti Super Bazaar is just an example. Perti Group also carried out many social welfare projects such as making 100 plus villages self-sufficient by solar energy in Melgut region of Vidarbha, which is the most underdeveloped region, 2000 plus heart surgeries, assisting locals with solar rickshaws and much more. Nitin Gudkari floated the Perti Power and Sugar Limited in 1995, when he started as PWD minister in Maharashtra. In 2012, after the companies came into the media glare based on irregularities unearthed by RTI activist Anjali Damania, the Income Tax Department investigated a number of firms that had invested in Perti, and found more than a dozen of these to be bogus addresses. Another three investing firms were found co located with the Samani Group, but no one knew of these firms. In 2010, when the Perti Group had incurred losses of Rs. 640 million, the firm IRB, which had obtained hefty road contracts under Gudkari's term as PWD minister, loaned the group 1.64 billion rupees, which was higher than Perthi's turnover of 1.45 billion rupees. When questioned on Marathi channel Ibn Lakhmat, about why he did not avail a loan from banks, Gudkari explained that the balance sheets of the company were not in a suitable state, so he had requested his friend Datatray to help him out. Also, Gudkari's son Nikhil was allegedly a director with IRB at the time. Gudkari argued that there was nothing wrong in having contractors invest in one's firms, but opposition leaders have argued that all this suggests a quid pro quo for political favors granted by Gudkari. The news of these allegations broke a few months before Gudkari was to seek re election as president of the BJP. At the time, Gudkari was to address several rallies for the Himachal Pradesh Legislative Assembly election, 2012. India Today reported that BJP leader Shanta Kumar had suggested that Gudkari's presence was affecting BJP's anti-corruption campaign." Subsequently, Gudkari cancelled his scheduled rallies at Balaspur and Solon on 30 October.
In early 2013, in the elections for BJP president, for which Gudkari was close to clinching a second innings, his chances unraveled with several senior leaders suggesting that the IT indictment of the Purti Group's investments had damaged his image, and Gudkari was not re-elected. Gudkari told the Times of India that he was stepping down until the inquiry proved him innocent. Some RSS functionaries have suggested that his exit was the result of infighting. Subsequently, Gudkari threatened the IT officers, saying, When our party comes to power, there would be no Chidambaram or Sonia to save them IT officials. The IT Officers Association took umbrage at these remarks and demanded an apology. Eventually, in May 2013, the Income Tax Department assessed that Gudkari's firms had evaded Rs. 70 million via such Banami investments and other practices. On April 30, 2014, then Congress Union Minister Manish Tiwari apologized to Nitin Gudkari when he was dragged into a defamation suit by the latter. This apology was based on the Judicial Commission mention that Gudkari had played no role or had no concern with the scam. On May 13, 2014 the IT Department of Maharashtra cleared Nitin Gudkari's name and gave him a clean chit saying there is no enquiry, investigation presently pending. Personal Nitin Gudkari is married to Kanchan Gudkari and they have three children, Nikhil, Sarang and Ketka. His eldest son Nikhil is married to Rutuha Patak and Sarang Gudkari is married to Madhura Rodi. See also Makan Maharashtra <laughs>